Welcome to Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we will focus on security use cases that our customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Varsha, and I'm a customer engineer at Google Cloud. Today, we will be talking through one of the top questions that we get from our customers. How can I use ReCAPTCHA Enterprise to protect my website from online fraudulent activity? Fraudulent web activities cost enterprises billions of dollars each year. Security teams need to keep the bad actors out of their websites and ensure that their customers can always get in. Google reCAPTCHA has been defending millions of sites for almost a decade, and the reCAPTCHA Enterprise Service builds on this technology with capabilities designed specifically for enterprise security concerns. In this demo, I'm going to show you how reCAPTCHA Enterprise identifies the difference between a real user and a bad actor, and how you can view this within the Admin Analytics dashboard to see what is happening with your website. Let's say you're a user entering your credentials on a login page. Let's go ahead and enter some test credentials. All right, I'll go ahead and log in. Since I'm a real user on the web page, I get the feedback from the server saying thank you for participating in the demo. Now let's dive into the reCAPTCHA Enterprise admin portal to see how this request was detected by reCAPTCHA Enterprise. Let me go ahead and refresh here. Clearly, I see that this request was detected as a legitimate one. Now let's see how reCAPTCHA would handle this if we were a bad actor. I'll go ahead and run the bot, which is an automated script at the background. Now let's give a few seconds for the, run, uh, for the automated scripts to run. What happens here is that reCAPTCHA Enterprise detects that this is a fraudulent request and therefore forces a two-factor authentication to the user to complete the user verification. Now, if we go back to the admin portal and refresh the page, we're able to see that this was detected as an automation script activity on the web page. Let's walk through this workflow a little bit in detail here. Every time a user tries to log in, reCAPTCHA Enterprise collects the user behavior patterns from the web page and formulates a risk score using machine learning models on the reCAPTCHA server. The risk score can vary anywhere between zero to one, zero being a bad actor and one being a good user. In this example, the workflow we have defined is that if the risk score is below 0.4, we will perform a two-factor authentication, and if the user is successful with the two-factor authentication, the user is then going to be allowed to complete their journey on the website. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.